Right, I'm just going to demonstrate how I use paint to um, look at the uh, tiller on a bow. Drag in my tiller check picture. Now because the circle is going to be quite big, we need to stretch the viewing area a bit. There we go. And move the image up to the top in the middle. That should give us room to draw a nice arc of a circle. What I've done is actually rotated the image slightly that way when I've taken it off the video. And everyone's going to say, ah, oh, well that's because you had the bow tilted and all that. But it doesn't really matter. The only point is that paint will only draw an ellipse with the axis that way or that way. So if the bow's at 45 degrees to start with, that's no good. You've got to get it vertical or horizontal. If we um, if we do something like this and go with a nice big fat line, so, oh look, that's lovely. Actually, that's not too bad. But you're much better using a, a fairly thin much thinner line so that you can see what's going on. I've chosen fairly thick there else it won't show up on the on the screen. Perhaps I can zoom in a bit as well. There we go. And you can see that's no good at all. If I make it more circular there we fit that limb quite nicely. And we sort of don't fit that right limb too badly. But ideally the centre, see this little mark here, that's the centre of the axis of the ellipse. You'd expect that to line up with the fade there for the right limb and the fade there for the left limb. So we'll try and do the left limb just out of interest. There you go, that's... That's not badly fitting, a little bit flat, uh, if I stretch that a bit more circular, there, that's not, not a bad fit, and if we slide the same ellipse across for the right limb, it doesn't fit so nicely, it doesn't fit bad, that's about where, it, that's as good as I can get, oh, dropped it. So we look a little bit stiff in the end out there. Let's read all Move it around. That's quite good. So it looks like this, just this outer little bit's not doing anything. But you can almost fit anything. So I'll just have to go out a little bit so you can see the circle. I could have done with a bigger drawing area, we've lost it at the bottom. But there, that's much more like a circle. Well, that doesn't fit, but if we make a bigger circle... You can see if you just do it casually, you say, well, look, I can make almost any shape fit. So it's very much a guideline, and you've got to be very picky. So if we said, oh, that look, it's circular tiller, it's fine. Well, no, it isn't, because we've got a big gap just there and a big gap just there. It's, that doesn't fit quite right. It's like any tool, you've got to be careful how you use it. And we can make the ellipse the wrong way. We can have an ellipse with a longer vertical axis. So what do we mean by elliptical? Do you see what I mean? The term elliptical, oh that fits quite well. The term elliptical is actually more hindrance than help. So you'll see why I get a bit snitty about people who go on about everything's got to be elliptical but um, it just it's a tool it enables you to fiddle around and compare one thing with another one side with another it doesn't actually you know solve all your problems it's not a panacea for all ills and again looking at a small image like that you can't see a fat lot if we zoom in, let's zoom in more and more. Let's 
Let's look at this right limb. Uh, now here we might need a, a thinner line. Change the shape of my curve. Center it on the fade. That's not bad. But of course it also depends on the shape of the untillered limb, um, not untillered, unbraced limb. So if you've got a big lump anyway, or someone said this area looked a bit stiff, or is it slightly reflexed? Well, you need to look at the stave unbraced. But what I quite like about this is the lines fitting quite nicely along here and almost goes through the middle of this sort of flat twisted area. That's quite good. I like that. Uh, it's like all these things. If you enjoy doing it and it's a bit of fun, do it. Well, that's the same ellipse I've slid across. Fits the left limb quite nicely. So I think my tiller's beautiful. Now you see we're oh, dropped it. Anyway, that's enough. You get the general idea. I hope that's been of use.